feature, TJ Moon. Two-time winner this season, going to lead us to green. Owen Zachis, uh, Zacharias, the winner on opening night. Last night's winner, Bryson Nichols, Colt Johnson, Jake Trito, Hunter Morgan, Joshua Shine, Carson Cobble, Jeffrey Beck, Ellie Gossett, Finn Buckley, Addison Martinez, Mandy Lee, Rocky Wise, and Cole Gutmanstead. As they race down into turns, number one and two, 12 and older, it's the Outlaws. And yellow flag, no start. So TJ Moon, that number nine car, is a two-time winner this season. Owen Zacharias, that number 35, picked up the win on opening night. The number 80 of Bryson Nichols was the winner last night. And last Tuesday night, the winner was that black number 24. So your four winners this season are all right there in the front two rows. This is shaping up to be a dandy. Nick Bubbles, oh, Nick Bubbles Bronson just gave him a dirty look. Okay. Nick Oh, Nick Bubbles Bronson just gave him the stink eye. Lugnut, did you see that? Did you see Nick give them to the stink eye? They will behave after that. Oh, it even it scared Lugnut down there. Scared Lugnut that Nick Bubbles Bronson gave those to the stink eye. They will behave this time on the restart, I am sure. Oh, my gosh. I hope Lugnut doesn't need therapy or anything after that. Oh, my gosh. A uh, Nick Bubbles Bronson stink eye. Whew. Track caution lights are out. T.J. Moon, Owen Zacharias. Oh, it worked. It worked. A much better start. Here we are. Green lights are on. Well, we get through turns one and two, and T.J. Moon had a slight bobble. Might allow Owen Zacharias to clear him. Not so much getting into turn number three, but keep an eye on these two. It was last night. We had him two by two by three by four for a while. They were going at it like we haven't seen in years here in the Bojangles Outlaws. And they continue. Zacharias now still making the high side work off turn number two. Owen Zacharias on the high side. TJ Moon down low as they make their way into turn number three. Bryson Nichols would like to get up there. There's just no lane to do anything right now. He's back in the third spot. I think Colt Johnson's in the same boat. Just kind of waiting and seeing what happens there at the front of the field. This time Moon gets a half a car like but Zacharias hustles it around the high side. Now Nichols looks to the low side. Nothing doing there as they're still side by side. DJ Moon bobbled slightly. It gave Bryson Nichols a bit of a run, but not enough to get up to the side of that number nine car. Traditionally, the old racer's adage is if you're not at my door, at least at my rear wheel, watch out, then you're not beside me. Oh, and Zacharias was beside himself, though, in turn number two. He lost about five spots, but a whale of a job to hang on to that race car. Yeah, TJ Moon put the left side tires down on the turf, and that car slid up the racetrack, and bless his heart, old Owen Zacharias is there to catch him, and that's an Owen Zacharias up the racetrack. He's back to the sixth spot, but he's already looking. He's looking to go three wide for position number four as he dials up the inside lane. Incoming turn number three. Doink, doink, bang, boom. Oh, watch out, excuse me. You all the Fred Flintstone sounds on that one. Man, they're all over each other. And again, three by three into turn number one. Somebody else got hip checked out. That was Jeffrey Beck, I believe it was. And holy cow, these kids are just absolutely unhinged tonight. And they're all still going in the same direction. That's the thing that's amazing about it. Some really great racing here in the Bojangles Outlaws. As at the front of the field, TJ Moon, things have settled down. There's Back working to the low side of Finn Buckley for track position for the number five spot. Owen Zacharias on the comeback trail, trying to find some room. At the front of the field, there's TJ Moon. Bryson Nichols, your front two cars, making their way off from turn number two now. And yellow flag, Addison Martinez in the number eight machine. The wrong way around here. We're under caution. I think we need a breather after that one. And catch your breath. Holy cow. Steve, want to uh, point out that in the audience today, we have a cup driver's mom, Karen Gralla. Holla for Gralla's mom is here. And how about this? She brought Morgan, Kaz's uh, female friend, with her to show her where Kaz Gralla, the NASCAR cup star, got his start in these type Bandolero race cars. So Karen Gralla, good job. Thanks for coming back and showcasing where son Kaz got that holla for Gralla on. And now we all love to see him in the Cup Series. Lenny, you, ju you just incriminated yourself. Because oh, we go back to when Kaz Gralla was running these Bandoleros, Steve and I, every week she would bring us some sort of treat and, and we're empty handed, Lenny. You just incriminated her. 
It, uh, it's all your fault. Well, you know, uh, I mean, now she's got, you know, the, the other things to handle, and she's really focused on making sure that Morgan experiences these bandoleros through the eyes of, you know, a, a professional observer like Kaz's mom, Karen. Had so much fun. Kaz Grala, one of our graduates from uh, the uh, summer shootout. Man, that kid, when he was wheeling around here, came down from Massachusetts, and he was just tearing things up here and continues to carve out a career running a uh, limited schedule over at Rick Ware Racing and doing a really good job when he's able to climb aboard those Ford Mustangs over at Rick Ware Racing. So uh, good to have Mama Grala in the house. Morgan and everybody here that's joined us. Round number six of the cookout summer shootout. Here they come off turn number four. Seven laps have been completed. TJ Moon, Jake Trito, he chooses the high side. He's gonna see what he can do in that orange number 39 car. Yeah, last night, Trito was just kind of shaking that car down to figure out what was going on, perhaps for Chase Spaulding and the former driver earlier this summer. Maybe shaking it down tonight. I think he's figured it out. Racing for the lead off turn number four, that orange 39 of Trito. He's got Bryson Nichols to his left elbow and TJ Moon out the windshield. Great race for second off turn two. Yeah, great race for second spot. Colt Johnson in that black 24 runs in the four spot. He's trying to find some running room as well. As, oh, they get around and Nichols goes around. Bryson Nichols goes around. Carson Cobble goes around. Mandy Lee spins. Carson Wise. Oh, it's a mess. They're scattered, smothered, and covered in turn number four. Even more impressive, Steve. They all drove away. Nobody hit anybody or anything in that skirmish, and they're going to rejoin the tail of the field. Holy cow. Man, I'll tell you, when you have that second place car go around, here's the replay. You can see it on the big screen and down into the turn and around goes Nichols. Uh, Colt Johnson, man, he hung a left right in the middle of the corner, did a wonderful job. Other drivers were hanging rights. Watch Johnson in that black number 24 car. You're not expecting this out the windshield. And watch right here. Whoop, great job by Colt Johnson. And Finn Buckley hung a right, went around the outside. He did a nice job as well. And so, man, oh man, wild, wild uh, run here. Looks like Jake Trito goes to the back as well. Uh, high dollar officials determining some contact there between those two automobiles. Hey, parents, you try every day to keep your kids safe on the highways, the playground, even online. But there's another important step we need to take. More than 100 children and youth die by firearms here in North Carolina every year. So if you're a gun owner, make sure your guns are stored securely. Lock it up, keep it in a safe in your home and in your car. Visit ncsafe.org for tips on firearm storage. Again, that's ncsafe.org. All right, everybody, I have a very special guest. This is my little brother, Nolan. I'm very proud of him. So everybody say, hey, Nolan. All right, so we're going to be playing some American trivia. First question is, who, who's on the $100 bill? Um, um, oh, Benjamin um, Franklin. Benjamin Franklin? All right, that's right. All right, so what's the official name of the Star Spangled Banner? The American Anthem? You got it. Everybody give him a big round of applause. Oh, man, I'll tell you what. We got Molly down on the stage. Molly's having a good time. Adrian's down on the stage having a ball. Lugnuts on the stage having fun with all the kiddos. Man, oh, man, it's a party here at America's Home for Racing. If we only had fireworks. Oh, wait a minute, we're going to do that later on tonight. That caution light throughout. T.J. Moon sets the advantage down into one and two. It is Jeffrey Beck, I believe, Hunter Morgan on the high side. Morgan gets slid up the racetrack. Colt Johnson working to the low side into that second spot now in that black number 24 car. 
Johnson runs in the second spot. Morgan runs in third. Finn Buckley down on the low side in the fourth spot. Owen oh, Zacharias rallying back. Zacharias, a great runner on the high side in that black, white, and red number 35 car challenging Finn Buckley for position number four. This time by the signal goes out halfway down, halfway to go. T.J. Moon, a two-time winner this season, works up off from turn number two. Moon is the race leader and doing a wonderful job. This battle for fourth spot, there's Zacharias, Finn Buckley, Josh Shine doing a good job. Jeffrey Beck is in there. Cole Gutmestad, Carson Wise, Carson Cobble, all mixing it up. Just a, just a high-speed conga line now up off from turn number two. Everyone trying to find racing room and trying to gain another spot here as we're now well into the second half lap number 12 of this 20 lap feature yeah it's like it took a few laps to get the bugs out so to speak get the rust shaking off and so everybody now kind of realized hey we can't get to the end of this race if we keep banging fenders and doors and knocking parts off these things you got to make sure you get to the end in order to have a shot to try to win this thing so everybody just logging laps right now but you're only going to have a handful of laps to do that because before you know it, it's going to be down inside five laps to go. Lap 13, now complete for leader TJ Moon. Something tells me those behind him are starting to maybe step it up a little bit. It's this fight back here towards the tail of the top 10 shows. As they make their way down across the strike to complete yet another lap, lap number 14. T.J. Moon, uh, about an eight-tenth of a second advantage. So Moon looking really good. He's had a really good season. He has been awful strong in that number nine car as the battle for the third spot is heating up. Hunter Morgan has that spot, but Owen Zacharias is right there off the back bumper. There's a battle deep in the pack for position in the number 37. That's for the 12th spot. Carson Cobble has it. So uh, great battle. Here's the third-place battle. We just mentioned Hunter Morgan has that in that white and purple number five. Owen Zacharias right there, about a foot and a half, two feet off the back bumper. Yeah, it took a few laps, and Owen Zacharias realized just what we said. It's getting down to crunch time. Four laps to go, and every single point matters here, not just on the summer shootout level, because it certainly matters there over all 10 rounds, but each one of these events counts towards the national point total as well. And Zacharias locked in a huge tussle with TJ Moon. And the 80 of Bryson Nichols today appears to be not as good of a day for Bryson Nichols. So Zacharias and Moon both like to take advantage of that. As there you see Nichols make a pass on Gumnestad. Another pass ahead of them as well. Also starting to shake out as we come down to two laps to go. Down to it now with two laps to go here and it continues on for the race leader TJ Moon. Moon doing a wonderful job at the front of the field. Out here has it wound up and works his way into turn number three now. Colt Johnson runs into second spot. That battle for third, hot and heavy, as uh, Hunter Morgan and Owen Zacharias battling, but it is well off the pace for the leader. T.J. Moon down into turns one and two, sets the pace as he works for the final time onto the back straightaway. I don't know what T.J. Moon's figured out, but he has a good two to three tenths faster in the field, lap after lap. And when you do that, you get to hear this. T.J. Moon works his way off turn number four, to the double checker flags and he will win round number six of the cookout summer shootout for the Bojangles Outlaws. TJ Moon over Colt Johnson, Hunter Morgan, Owen Zacharias and Finn Buckley. And we'll head down to cookout victory lane to chat with TJ Moon and Lenny Batiki here in just a moment. Coming out of the car, T.J. Moon. A lot of his friends and family probably up there watching Oxford Plains, I believe, racing tonight as well. T.J.'s got a Bojangles hat, and he typically thanks Grant or Nana every time he comes up here. So what are you going to tell Nana about those wiggles down the back straightaway or the final straightaway here? What were you doing there? Tell Nana what you were doing. Just showing off, kind of. Just so happy I finally got a win. You know, 
we've had a couple uh, rough weeks for the last two weeks. Um, first, I'd like to thank um, my mom, my dad, hi Nana, um, uh, Coran, Dean, Dean Hanscom Heating, Redhead Racing, uh, Simpson Whaley's Food Service. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, and see those wiggles. We'll be back with more right here from Charlotte Motor Speedway. Stay with us on Flow Racing.